Hello guys, who follow No Fin Fairs channel, Fake Flip here once again to tell you a little bit more about the tides. Uh, today I intend to speak a little bit more about the amphidromic points. Amphidromic points is a very special uh, key point to understand tides and also to understand uh, our reality. Um, the amphidromic points, um, amphidromic points uh, as our oceanographers and PhDs have learned is nothing uh, to do with reality. What they have learned is a set of lies. What they have learned is false information in order to make them stupid. Uh, that's the truth. So for them, amphidromic points is taught in universities as uh, areas where there are no tides. Uh, this is how they learn in university. Or uh, since there are, there are no areas on earth completely exempt of tides, so they consider also amphidromic points as place, places with no tides or where tides are negligible. Uh, places like Turkey, for example. Turkey is a, is a huge area, a huge area, not really a point, so they clearly don't know what a point is. Okay, they clearly have no idea what a point is, right? A point is a specific location, a set of very specific coordinates that is a point. Now, the whole of Turkey, including the Marmara Sea, also the Black Sea, and also the Mediterranean and Aegean Sea, uh, it's a huge area, uh, not just a point, where the tides are considered negligible and therefore considered an amphidromic point. So, in the maps that they release to our oceanographers with uh, the amphidromic points, you observe huge areas of Earth entire seas like the Mediterranean, uh, the Caribbean, uh, the Baltic, the Black Sea, which is not even highlighted in their maps also. But we are talking about huge areas of Earth like the Sea of Japan and many other areas where the tides are negligible, uh, nearly zero really. So they consider these as amphidromic points and they don't question anything, they just swallow the information and say Amen. And that's how the indoctr indoctrination carries on and on and on. And that's why today we have a legion, a legion of PhDs who are specialized in unicorns that don't exist. And they don't, they don't, they don't get to understand the reality that surrounds them. This is really sad, really terrible. But uh, I am here to tell them what a point is. A point is a specific set of coordinates. So it's a very specific and restricted area. <laughs> that is a point. So an amphidromic point is um, places on the ocean, very specific places on the ocean where a very special phenomenon happens. We have a vertical current of water. Uh, amphidromic points are the only places on the, uh, on the ocean where we have a vertical and very strong current of vertical water uh, going down to the bottom. So the, um, the only places on Earth where you'll, you will observe these phenomenon is the amphidromic points. And they're very dangerous, very extremely dangerous, because they can drag almost anything down together with the water. So extremely dangerous places. And all of the amphidromic points have a history of shipwrecks, drownings, bodies missing, some bodies found also. But uh, they have a history of deaths uh, including, uh, included in their, in their history. And no wonder why. Because there is a massive hole down there sucking and dragging all this water uh, out of the system uh, for some sort of recycling. Uh, God, our God, has some sort of uh, recycling plant somewhere. And this water goes back to recycling somewhere. We don't know where this water goes to. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the waters outside our firmament, they're always clean. That water keeps penetrating through all the springs on Earth. We have countless of springs, not just here above the continents, above the sea level, but also under the ocean. We have plenty, countless of springs. And the injection is always fresh, always clean water. So somehow that water gets, um, gets recycled. And uh, Lord, only Lord knows how, right? So the amphidromic points, they, um, they are a key uh, to our understanding of our reality, key to understanding about the existence of um, uh, all our reality. So uh, having said that, uh, the, um, 
I don't know all of the amphidromic points, but uh, I have researched uh, quite intensely to try and find out as many as I can. So please, if you've heard of or seen, and if you if you have more information about them, uh, don't be afraid to, <laughs> don't be shy. Just put on the comments uh, if you've seen other places on Earth where you get uh, vertical currents forming forming eddies and whirlpools on the surface with vertical strong currents going vertically down to the bottom just share the information with me I would love to learn more about the amphidromic points but uh, most of them most of the amphidromic points they are located in North America so North America uh, the region of uh, British Columbia and also uh, to the east coast of North America in the Great Lakes and also in uh, the borders with um, Maine and uh, in Canada the, in the city of Eastport in the United States the border with Canada there you'll find uh, a huge whirlpool called the Old Sal so the Old Sal is a huge uh, amphidromic point located there which drags and sucks all the, the waters that are produced the tides that are produced in the Bay of Fundy and in the North Atlantic uh, it um, also uh, in, the, in the British Columbia uh, you, you'll find uh, uh, another to my knowledge as far as I know there are seven holes in British Columbia uh, five of those are located on the Cordero uh, passage the Cordero Channel actually the Cordero Channel <laughs> has a history of uh, deaths shipwrecks and and people dying it's the probably the, it is it is known as the um, as the most dangerous stretch of waters on earth it's the Cordero Channel in Vancouver uh, in the Vancouver area so uh, these is uh, these are the amphidromic points of North America there are seven to my knowledge on the west coast and two uh, as far as I know two uh, on the east coast also in um, in Europe you'll find four so there are two in Norway the Moskenstroman the Moskenstroman in Lufoten and also the Saltstroman there are two uh, well-known uh, uh, amphidromic points in in Norway also extremely dangerous also extremely dangerous lots of deaths and in, 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 in cases of, of, of disappearance and, and things extremely dangerous uh, also um, in in the UK in the UK here where I am I am in the UK uh, in Scotland uh, there is the in the Gulf of Corryvreckan there is also another amphidromic point and the water goes vertically down and sacking and again lots of <laughs> lots of deaths and shipwrecks in this place also um, you will find also in the, um, in the Mediterranean in the Mediterranean Sea there is a, um, an amphidromic point in the city of Messina uh, in the in the Strait of Messina in Italy in southern Italy there is also an amphidromic point there and again you get a vertical current of water going down to the bottom lots of shipwrecks also in that area uh, there's a curiosity about this place because it is also mentioned in the legends in the in the in the Greek legends in the in the in the stories of Homer um, this amphidromic point was mentioned because it was uh, given as a monster in the water in front of another monster which was Scylla Scylla was given as a monster on the sea and Charybdis was given as a monster in the water no wonder why actually it can be quite monstrous <laughs> these amphidromic points they can actually swallow people and um, also in Japan in Japan there are two amphidromic points to my knowledge uh, both of them to the south of Osaka uh, in, the, in the inland sea of Seto the Seto inland sea on both entrances and exits uh, to the sea to the north is Naruto and to the south is Kurushima uh, both of these places are uh, also very strong um, uh, currents down uh, dragging 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 a lot of water downwards vertically uh, obviously to the bottom and then for recycling uh, and this uh, oh uh, there's a last one also to my to my knowledge in New Zealand so in New Zealand the Te Aumiti is an um, amphidromic point uh, it's located to the north uh, of the North Island between North Island and the island of Durville there's a place called French Pass and there there is a hole also with a extensive history of deaths and shipwrecks and people disappearing 
right? And bodies never found again, sometimes. So um, um, uh, these points, the amphidromic points, they remove the water that is injected in the ocean. The water that is injected in the ocean comes from springs, not just above the sea level. I'm pretty sure that you've all experienced a spring at a certain point in your lives. If you haven't, I strongly recommend. It's amazing to drink water directly from the spring. Uh, but also underneath the ocean, there are countless of springs. And some of these springs are perennial, so they always inject water. But some of these springs are intermittent. So the intermittent ones produce an intermittent injection of water and therefore uh, the tides. Uh, the, the tides is nothing but an intermittent injection of water. But this water, if not removed, if this water is not removed, obviously it will flood us. It would flood us if it were not removed. So the amphidromic points, they do exactly this. Um, I hope the information has been helpful, especially to our oceanographers who have been fooled in universities with uh, uh, a very uh, a terrible and false information about the amphidromic points. Amphidromic points are meant to be points, a specific set of coordinates, not huge areas of Earth as they are uh, preached in universities. So I hope this information has been helpful and uh, helps them uh, free their minds and therefore set free the people. Right? That's why the, the scientists lie to them, uh, to enslave their minds and uh, the, 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 true, the true information, the truth sets them free. So I hope this uh, information helps them set themselves free. Uh, for any questions, of course, just leave them in the comments and I'll be more than glad to answer. Right? Uh, um, uh, thank you very much for having listened and see you around, guys.